old photographs can become worse for wear over the years, especially if they haven't been framed or stored in a photographic album. On this particular photograph we've got creases running through the pictures where the pictures have obviously been folded and placed in a wallet and even missing corners. Now we can use PaintShop Pro to correct all of these problems. So let's start by zooming in and we're going to start by correcting this particular crease first. So to zoom in we'll just press the scroll wheel on our mouse and just twiddle it around until we've, there we are, roughly 150 magnification. Now we could use the clone tool to rectify this crease but using the clone tool means we would have to sample the picture at several different places and it would be very difficult to match up. Fortunately there is another tool we can use and we go over to the left hand side here and under the clone brush the drop down list we can use the scratch remover. Now this is quite a clever tool and we can set the width of the scratch the centre bit is the bit which you place over the scratch and the two edges, the top and the bottom edges, are the bit that's going to be sampled. So if I just release that, and we do, if we do it in small sections, unfortunately check patterns like this don't always work that well, but from a distance it's going to look quite good. We have quite a high magnification here. So we just go all the way along the image just in small sections and we can more or less correct, correct the entire image. Just go over a bit if it doesn't look right. And we can also do this in the vertical format as well. It's very clever, very quick to do. And to trying to do this with the clone tool would be very, very hard indeed. And even the soft scratches can be removed very simply. As I say, it's on a check pattern like this coat, it is quite a difficult or difficult calculations to make, so you may have to retouch this up with the clone brush afterwards. And there we go, we can just go through and even complicated bits like the hairline here where we've got the hat in, just do it in small sections at a time. And if it doesn't quite work out on any one. You can always do edit, undo and just try this again. We'll just try it with a slightly smaller value here. 13 and s there we go. That's not too bad this time. A scratch like this one, and you could actually try the scratch remover and uh, slightly bigger values and see what happens here. It's, uh, yes, it's done it. Not too bad actually going to go for slightly higher values again, maybe 20, edit, undo, scratch and try that one again. And you can see quite clearly here that the centre portion of the scratch remover tool is highlighting the scratch and the bits at the top and the bottom are the bits that are actually sampled. And there we go, that's quite good. It may not be perfect but you can always retouch up slightly with the clone tool afterwards. And as you can see, it's leaving a slightly darkened line there. But we'll tidy that bit up in a minute. I'll just go through the entire picture there. And, and there we have. Although there is a bit of a ridge on there. We can get rid of that by using the clone tool now. And we'll change the blending mode to lighten. And this should hopefully take out the dark shadow patch that's under there. So we'll place our clone tool there and we'll right click to set our endpoint and the lighten bit is just lightening up the darkened sections and there we go. And that's not too bad and I can now just remove this bit of mould on the picture as well. Um, you may have to go back and use a normal brush because it, it won't lighten this part because this bit is already lightened so we could go to dark on there and we'll... and that was just by changing the blending mode. And there we are, that's how fast it is and a little bit more time and you could actually correct that quite nicely. 
replacing missing bits in a photograph is always going to present its own set of problems because you're never sure exactly what was supposed to be there. So we can use our imagination a little bit. So let's go over to the selection tool and I'm going to draw out a selection on these two pipes because I think we can actually make something out of that. So we just select this area here and then we do edit copy or control and C and now we're going to select none and we're going to go edit paste as new layer that's control and V and that's pasted this section here so we can actually now place that just there I want a bit more piping so I'm going to do control V again which is going to paste exactly the same bit that's in the clipboard and I'm going to take that up there. Now don't worry if we're going out of the top of the picture because we are going to trim the picture up in a moment. And I can now tidy up the bottom part here as well. We're going to do another control V to paste the selection in again. And now we've got three pasted sections here that makes up these pipes. I know it's not exactly what was there before but we're going to have to use some artistic license here. Highlight the bottom image again and again selecting the selection tool we just want a piece of blank wall now so we're going to select this area here just make sure you haven't got any detail within that selection and we do control and C to copy and that copies the contents of the selection to your clipboard and we do control and D to select none and now we can do control and V to paste and that's pasted our clipboard contents as a new layer and um, using the move tool again we're just going to place that there and that's filled in the area and we're going to do control V again to paste a new layer again using the same contents and we're just going to fill in there and control V yet again control V yet again and there we've got our sort of missing section filled in not quite perfect but it's going to suffice for the time being and now that all remains to be done is to select the crop tool and zoom out a bit on there using the the wheel on the mouse and I'm going to crop out any untidy areas there and just tighten the entire picture up and we click OK to apply and there we have our finished picture.